if you're creating songs in GarageBand and you notice that when you export them, they're way too loud, that is something called auto-normalization. It's built into GarageBand by default. Now, how do you work around it? Well, that's what we're going to cover in this video. I've got a little tip that's going to help you reduce the volume of your song and help you master your song to perfection. Let's go. So this is my song called Toxic Ego. You can check out the links up there or down in the description if you want to see how I created this here in GarageBand. But what I've done is I've exported it, but I've muted out this track. We'll come back to this in a moment. But if we jump over to Audio Share, which is a great app, I highly recommend it. This will show that, look at this, look at these peaks. They're all hitting right up around zero dB because this is a punk rock song. It's very loud. And the problem is, look, this is great. If I wanted to just share this right now, I could come in here and play it. And it sounds like this. So crazy, but, I just don't know how to quit. but if I want to actually master this song after exporting it from GarageBand, it's not really going to work. So how do I work around this whole auto-normalization thing? Well, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is create a sound in here that is so loud that when we export it with that loud sound, it's actually going to reduce the overall volume. There's a couple of things we need to do here. Number one is using our FX volume trick. And the second thing is recording a really loud sound. Let's take these one by one and explain how this all works. So let's start by explaining what auto-normalization is. So when you've got a project here in Garage, GarageBand. What GarageBand does by default is it increases the volume up to zero dB. That's why when you see an export like this, it looks so hot. And by hot, we mean loud. So if your exports are too loud and it doesn't allow you to master them, whether you're using Final Touch or another mastering app, then this is what you need to do. Tip number one is to add an FX track here. Now let's delete this out here and I'll show you this from scratch because this is a cool little tip to get you to reduce the overall volume. Because if we play this track here, take a listen. You got an ego that drives me so crazy. It's already way too loud, right? So what we need to do is hit the FX button here and we need to record in some FX. Now you can just do anything here because we're going to delete it. Let's hit record. And stop. So what we're going to do is come down here, we're going to delete out this, tap it, tap it again and hit delete. But now what we can do is if we hit on this FX track like that and we tap on our plugins little button up there and go to our visual EQ, this one here, we can actually turn this up or down. You can see I've already reduced it from when I did this before. So you can drop this down by 5 or 10 or 15 or 20 dB and it can actually really help your export volume. So if we bring this down to say minus 15 dB and hit done there and uh, then we hit play on the button here so crazy, but I just don't know how to quit. we've really reduced the volume here now I've done this quite dramatically so you're going to see what happens when we now export this so what I'm going to do is jump out of this one like so and now we're going to export this by tapping and holding on this one hitting the share button hitting song and then exporting this as an uncompressed WAV file. We'll hit share, we'll hit open in, and it's gonna go and export this song. Let's let this export, jump over to audio share and see the difference between this version and the original version that we exported at full volume. So that's done now. We're gonna scroll over here and hit the audio share button here and open it up in audio share. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit less hot. So let's compare our original version. This is a full volume version to this one here. Now, this is what I previously did, but here's the problem. It's still actually, you can see there, there are some peaks that go all the way up to maximum volume or what we call zero dB. So this is good because you can just turn down the input volume and use something like Final Touch to master this track. And I used that before, but there is a better way it involves screaming into your microphone or your interface or your iPhone or iPad. It's a lot of fun, and I'm going to show you it right now. So let's go back to our original project here in GarageBand. We're going to scroll down and check out this one here. This track is the key track. We're going to solo it here, and we're going to be very careful with this one. Let's zoom in on it, because what you're going to see is that this is a very loud sound. So what I did for this is I grabbed my microphone. I screamed into it at maximum volume. I then did a couple of things. I came in here, I tapped it, and I hit the settings button, and I turned the gain up to 12 dB. I 
then turned this volume all the way up to the top and I made sure that we had as much volume coming in here as possible. And you can see by that waveform how much it's clipping here. Now, I'm not going to play this at full volume. Let's turn it down and uh, take a listen to what this sound actually sounds like here. Yeah, so that's not a sound that you want in any particular track, but it works for our process here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be very brave here. We're going to turn this volume all the way up to the top. We're going to continue to make sure that we have our FX track here because you do need to use these in conjunction and have that down. Now we'll bring it, we'll leave it down at minus 15 dB. We'll do that as a test this time. So again, just grab your microphone or whatever you want here and just yell into it and create that loudest possible sound that you can. Just clip it, just do all the fun stuff that you thought you never could. Now the other thing you'll notice here is I also used, if you go in here to our, our effects here, I use the bullhorn. So I use the studio effects and I use the fun bullhorn here just to create a whole bunch more really loud sounds. So enjoy yourself and make it as loud as possible. But now we're going to leave this one at maximum volume. We'll, uh, we'll unmute it and we'll come out of there. And now this will be the moment of truth. Let's uh, tap and hold on this. Let's hit the share button here. We're going to share a song and we're going to share an uncompressed wave. And let's see the difference that this makes when we hit the open in here and open this one into audio share. I think you're going to be amazed and probably impressed with the method that we have here and how it reduces that overall volume. Wait and see. While we're waiting for this to export, a shout out to my buddy Case over in the Netherlands. He was the one who first clued me into this method. I tried it at the time. It didn't work. I've retried it. Now it works. So uh, yeah, persistence is the key. And shout out to Peter as well. He uses this one. He's one of my Patreons. If you want to be as cool as Peter and be a patron, check out studiolivetoday.com slash Patreon and be just as cool as those folks. All right, the moment of truth. Let's hit the audio share button and see what we get here. Yeah, there it is. So you can clearly see that we've got this really loud sound. I'm not going to play it because it will blow your ears off. But look at the rest of this. Look, nothing is going anywhere up near zero dB. This is going to be perfect for mastering. But there's something we need to do. The reason I recommend Audio Share is that Audio Share makes it really easy to do this. And again, it's only a few dollars to buy this app. Check out the links down in the description if you want to learn more about it. But if we go to the Tools option here and we go Trim and Fade, what we're going to do is remove that very loud sound at the start because we recorded that just before the start of our track. And we're going to uh, clip the end of this one as well here. And uh, there we go. So we hit the save button. That's going to trim this. And now look at this. Let's hit play. We've got a really nice volume. And the reason we want this lower volume is that when you're mastering, whether you want to bring this back into GarageBand, whether you want to use Grand Finale or Final Touch or Audio Master Pro, I have a heap of videos on this channel all about mastering on your iPhone or iPad. This is going to help you out. So let's send this over to Final Touch and I'll show you what I mean. If we hit the share button down the bottom here, what we're going to do, if we go to the bottom here, we're going to scroll across here and we're going to go to Final Touch and tap on that one. This is going to open up Final Touch and you can see there that we've got this nice waveform ready to go. If we play this right here in the middle. It's playing a couple of things at once, but but uh, yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll delete those out. Uh, but you can see there that it's only going up to around about that minus twelve, minus six dB mark. There, it's going to make it much much easier to actually master this track because it's going to be much lower here. And then when we add in our uh, reverb and our dynamics and our stereo image and our EQ and our maximizer, we can actually use all of these without it overdoing that. Because the problem with GarageBand, the audio normalization is that it makes it way too loud so having the ability to have this lower version actually really helps us out so once again if you look at the difference between the uh, the original version here that we had there that was uh, that was sorry this is the original that was clipping all the way to the top it wasn't clipping but you know what it's it's right up there at zero db uh, this is uh, the original the version that we've got now you can see that we've got a whole much more this is called headroom this is what you want in mastering you want some headroom here so that when you add all 
all your effects and your mastering process, you're going to be able to have that headroom and have that ability to master your song correctly. So that is what we uh, wanted to talk about here is that just yell into your microphone. Again, let's cover that again. Turn the volume up, yell into your microphone or your iPhone or your iPad. Come in here, go to your settings, auto gain it up all the way to the top there and then uh, turn on your bullhorn effect. Just add everything. You could even come in here and like make it as loud as you want. Put your compressors on, jump your compressor up here, put your threshold down, your ratio up, your, your gain up to the max. You can play around with this to your heart's content and then use that in conjunction with your FX trick here, your FX volume trick here to reduce the volume. Because remember, you want to turn the volume up here by making it super loud and then turn the whole thing down here. It means that when you export it over here, you're going to get a much better export and you're going to be able to master your songs. There you go. How to avoid the auto normalization in GarageBand. Hope you enjoyed this one. Check out the other videos down in the description and I'll see you next time.